Was that good? One sec. Okay, no problem. No, we're good. But, sir. Yeah. All right. Everyone good? I'm good, yeah. Cool. Starting now. Society includes disability through accommodations, not because they value disability, but because they want to normalize disability. Accommodations are designed to allow disability to approximate normalcy in the gain of progress and inclusion. Efforts to achieve access to accommodations signal inclusion is a goal of forcing disabled people to desire and remain total under normalcy. Mitchell and Snyder, 15. Disability coaching and mission to normative social institutions through normalization strategies intended to ameliorate historical exclusions ultimately result in further marginalization by providing compensatory supports for disabled people as a claim disability integration is now complete and assigned a successful arrival and moderating the completion of the integration of impaired bodies through the granting of formerly withheld rights mark inclusion is a critical accomplishment to hope. Spur bodies misleading tactics think by devaluing embodiments and by nation states in which their lives have been socially and materially eviscerated the effort to gain entrance function. S. As a tenuous tactic for making disability knowable within the range of the normal accommodation develops as a result of efforts to flatten out the dynamic of irreality of disability through approximations of normal senior liberal disability couches. Its rhetoric of assistance in terms that mask the institutional interests it serves inclusionism has resulted in the incapacity to recognize disability as a sign of alternative value and as a potentially destructive force within neoliberal regimes of toleration. And the inclusion of nature and society value access only so far as it allows the disabled to desire normalcy. But the only way to achieve this normalcy is for the disabled to disavow their identity. The impact is disabled self-hatred and the internal destruction of the disabled identity. Can we read? Internally stableism or disabled self-hatred occurs through insidious trauma day after day and enables society to deviate mitigation generate. S. Internally stableism because congregating with other people with impairments is interpreted as negative emulating the notion of the able. Body individual coupled with mitigation of a disabled sensibility makes disabled people care to be anointed as people first while simultaneously disavowing their previous embodied positions and generalization of negative ontologies of. Disability contributes to the formation of a pliable disabled body by inclusivist impulses. Internally stableism can mean in order to attain the benefit of a disabled identity one must participate in disability disavow aspiring towards. Normativity a form of self-protection that destroys the self. But I'm blind and competing in debate, so it must be accessible, right? While disabled students are let in the door, we are met with constant ability checks. We are constantly judged by our ability to conform to debate's rigid standards. We struggle to approximate the ideal debater only to realize that we will never meet every criteria of debate. I spent all of last year attempting to spread, a prerequisite to being a circuit debater. But problematically, to speak at 350 words per minute, you have to read at 350 words per minute. That's a reality that is never possible for me. But I forced myself to spread cases by memory, to be a circuit debater. I could only ever get to 315 words per minute after hundreds of hours of spreading and memorization. The constant exposure to ability checks within the space forced me to learn to accept subpar conditions in order to approximate the ideal debater. This is a space where those who uh, do things differently are constantly questioned. This is a space where I never feel comfortable, where I never feel like I truly belong. This is a space where I've never felt comfortable with my blindness. This is a space where I've never felt comfortable doing what I need to do to engage in the space fully. But screw it, I didn't memorize the app. Rachel 15. An impaired body in an elitist, highly competitive academic space entails the focus in the micro. Aggressions onto such a body in the framing and for by efficiency conditions of judgment are projected across bodies as an end around which typical and disruptive embodiments are captured in disciplined conditions of judgment set of value to bodies. Based on their ability to fulfill a given criteria to exist in debate is to constantly answer ability checks to disable bodies labor to ensure their bodies will not fall out of sync and having to pay penance for our work in some conditions we want to. Accept less than ideal circumstances one way of rebellions to unevenly distribute resources to gain an advantage the most resistant option is to change the terms of the standards themselves and ethical access and affirmation of disabled people would include flexibility. And the app advocates for curriculum and technologies to break down inclusionism. This involves development of teaching pedagogies that deviate from core teachings by in pre -order content as fortunate failure. This pedagogical incoherence offers options for constructing alternative ethical frameworks for living outside of the goals of inclusionism by creating new multiple curricular maps that are otherwise absent from normative teaching approaches. Mitchell is nine or two. Curricular group epistemology is either a discourse of specialists where we find the value of disability in overcoming social barriers or as an opportunity for political correctness where all bodies are valued for diversity instead of strategies. For culturally rehabilitating disabled people's experiences into recognizable activity, group epistemologies critically assess how communities place limits on queer people's participation social spaces superficially appear open to all. Group epistemologies unveil spaces of inclusion and paradoxically strip the police ways of being there is no inclusionism that does not come with the strategy of making estranged bodies benefit more than expectations. Group epistemologies promote failure as a worthy goal to reject the form fitting all the neoliberal activities as underperforming. And this is just another abstract KF. The ask method can be implemented in tangible ways that improve the lives of both disabled and non-disabled people. Mitchell and Schneider 3. Universal design for learning projects based on curricular group epistemology promote development of content about disability as a necessity standardized approaches adapt everyone to the goal rather than the diversification of true engagement of UTL. Structured classroom entail. S. An active negotiation of the ways discussions will be made accessible to all UTL classroom recognizes an opportunity to assist all participants in engagement when blind students require audio description all students found details that A. Might have otherwise missed such efforts to demonstrate the ways that UTL pedagogies benefit all students as opposed to serving as expensive interventions on behalf of a few disabled students. And curricular group epistemology is a materialist non normative positivism that recognizes disability as a viable alternative to normalcy. Rather than focusing on accommodating disability to be normal, we must attend to ways that disability disrupts normalcy through its messy Instead of being imprinted by dominant social beliefs, disability can create alternative worlds of possibility. Mitchell and Snyder 4. 
Non-formative positive is a pursuit disability is something other than the apparent product of social constraints such approaches open up the materiality of a non-image alternative materialist approaches identify the creative interdependencies of the foundations of disability to review how their lives bring something image in the world that may otherwise go unrecognized non-formative positive is articulate why disabled lives matter right now disability movements argue that disabled people must be allowed to pursue their lives as able bodied people due to prove worthy of acceptance and the quality of treatment such a goal is too small and further solidifies the unchallenged desirability of normative lives non-normative positive is believe another world is possible and such worlds will not come unless we vigilantly attend to the nuances of disabled lives as viable alternatives non-normative positive is approaches function as a disruptive force of resistance and sedimented systems of privilege the materiality of disability is formed his bodies become more than an active matter imprinted by cultural beliefs. And the process of the affirmative is what makes today more accessible. Refusing to engage the act is refusing to be part of the solution. Disability studies gives the opportunity to create meaningful and universal access for all. A ballot for the affirmative is during the process of struggle for access. Landing 14. Disability studies gives the means and opportunity to universally design to make access as the process of destabilizing our assumptions about what the papers are into the prerequisite. This is disability consciousness. The most portable skill to make that was consciousness to make a vocabulary and audience to articulate lived experience with disability recognition of the lived experience of disability is missing from our current debates on every debater. As a lived experience with disability, but we all do research if you want to be part of the solution instead of part of the problem, we need to cut some parts of the process of debating these powerful and revolutionary opponents' willingness to engage. Makes me a better advocate. Access is a process of struggle that has to be joined. And the role of the ballot is to challenge ableism. Assumptions of ableism are inherent in systems of knowledge production, but ableism is an ongoing question. Camel 13. Ableism is seated at the level of knowledge systems. Ableism is not just negative attitudes, it is a scheme of perfection, a way of thinking about bodies. Compulsory about oriness is implicated in the foundations of social theory and lambda is predicated on pre existing notion about the nature of typical functioning. Ableism tells us what thinking and emotions are suitable to express, reframing our focus can enrich our understanding of the terms of engagement in life. Cool. I am good for cross. Uh, how does voting athlete can be more accessible? That's the landing evidence, which is really good about telling you how access is a process of struggle that has to be joined through like injecting consciousness about disability into the debates. So I guess why, so like the affirmative by being read already injected consciousness, why is voting for it necessary? Because debaters pay attention to who and what arguments are winning rounds. Like that's just a thing that happens. So voting app gives the app more visibility and probably injects more consciousness about disability into the debate space. Uh, how does voting app lead to curricular cryptismologies or is it just endorsement of that? That's an endorsement of the method. Okay, uh, what is, or I guess how does voting app cause that method to be actualized? So it's not that voting app causes the method to be actualized. Like the method has been actualized insofar as like the text to speech the synthesizer reading of the app is like a alternative way of engaging in the space. Okay, uh, what is the role of the negative? The role of the negative, negative, like you can do a bunch of different things. You can negate, you can critique our method. You can read a counter method. You can like probably read framework as like a different vision of how debate should operate. So I guess why is it valuable for the negative to? do that because like why is it valuable to debate is that the argument yeah. like because the landing evidence says that it's like have engaging with the affirmative creates better advocates for like access like having a conversation about what disability like should look like within the debate space is probably something that should happen what does it mean so like what's an example of an so i guess like what does it mean to have a conversation about what disability should look like it's just like, like how to be like as a non-disabled person, like how am I supposed to engage in that conversation? So it's like, I, it's we need to have discussions about how debate impacts disabled folks. Like it, you, yeah, that's what the method is essentially. Is the reason why the judge endorsing that is good is so like more people hear it if you get farther in the yeah, so like people have literally started changing their disclosure norms because I was reading a hyper specific, specific disclosure inter. That's probably a reason that the ballot does something. Uh, can you, so UDLs, so I guess like it seems like the like UDL in the uh, curricular cosmology stuff is distinct from like kind of voting app to like spread the message. I guess what is no the voting app? Voting app is like a showing that this method is something that is good and can create access. So if I prove that mess, if I prove that that method is bad, can you still win by saying like, like having your message go on to like finals is good? No, if the method is something that is bad, the judge should not vote affirmative. Great. Uh, it will be two minutes. Uh,
Topicality or interpretation is that the resolution to determine the division of affirmative and negative ground fossil fuels are oil, coal, and natural gas. EPA 13 fossil fuel definition of oil, coal, natural gas. Fossil fuel subsidies made fuel cheaper for consumers and producers. Believe 19 consumer subsidies made fuel cheaper for consumers and producers. Subsidies are government support for fossil fuel with a tax policy. Insurance eliminate means to remove district court of Minnesota 10 to OED price eliminate means to remove government violation. The current code for small G government for vehicle limits. Post facto top of the general instruction because the FI manipulating the balance of preference to anchor out the resolution as the state's point not to be in top class on the specialized and one year in the library for four years in the key general. For people who switch research targets every two months, which means their arguments are presumptively false because they haven't been subject to all research scrutiny. Three impacts. First is fairness. Speed is fundamentally a game which requires both sides to have a relatively equal shot of winning is necessary for any benefit the activity. That always a point decision making. Every argument can see the validity of fairness and that the judge will make a fair decision based on the arguments presented. This means if they win fair is bad, no neck on presumption because you have no obligation to fairly evaluate their arguments. The point probability voting out can't solve any of their impacts, but it can't solve fairness. All the balance does is tell us how to one which can't solve any balance, but can resolve the fairness and balance in this particular debate. Second is switch that an idea testing only a limited topic that leaves a role for the negative less contestation. In second, we're testing that overcomes polarization, switching sides force them to scrutinize their own beliefs, which are valuable for developing and defending their own predictions more robustly cautious of the team. Only for reasons exposed to contrary arguments, we test the merits of these cases for the negative treatment that is going to be the subject of the like-minded people delivery and official cast of the extreme use of the right to be just having voice even if the public consensus is low to the arguments and has been position. We cannot come up with argument that curious that everybody else agrees to cheat argument that chooses more evidence than the order of kind of law in our human rights or rational help of the discussion with the rules and prior indication of first young competing assessments and prediction of rational science and every single one into one side from things like evidence or any cost problem. A lot of arguments. Third, small schools does that under research data damage adversely affected by massive unforgivable cases which were structural disparities. Topical version. Eliminate subsidies for fossil fuels. Climate change causes massive violence to disabled <coughs> people and exposes the failures of accommodation taxing. And again, as 18 people with disabilities are uniquely affected by climate change, the greater role of ability to restore the discipline really challenge the relocation force transition. If I mean, your housing climate terms are hard for this population, that means for refugees, <coughs> people with disabilities in lower survival, and those without it may be the elected or death left to die. Effective communication technologies are necessary to remove people with hearing impairments on evacuation plan, whereas in a transformation center for mobility impaired persons. Dissatisfied in the TBA proved that our negative ground that it's contestable stasis plan, which means we don't have to solve the entirety of the app. Reject the team. Tease a question of models of the damage to our strategy was done competing in trips. They have to proactively adjust by their model and reasonability. Links to our offense. No RBS or impact trends. It's there to prove their topical beating that team doesn't prove their accuracy is good. Next off is the cap case. They're that by hacking the resolution debate, uh, the they can change challenge capital capture. This false capitalism is rough and the narrative escape, disrupting a logical socialism. We cannot solve more analysis of structures in history. Boone 07. The time to constitute consumption is self-made distinct from markets, contradiction patterns, and counter energy, social exclusion, constructed lifestyles, and sound patterns, and have not be extended all the current sites are locking the community, super parts, ever increasing social quality degradation, resources, and any sense for around change being energy sources, similarly, the ability to sort of really blame on side effects, and then by simulation by performing the possibility of the alternative help cover the fundamental problem is for around change trying to reaper these various small entities. Capitalism causes war, violence, environmental destruction, and extinction, we're all saying it's in our very several requires revolution against capitalism, and system reaching ecological limits, even causes altering the rhythm and friends, the extinction capital, and close to cumulative quantified nature, and fully unprecedented, from twelve stage involved manipulation, appearance, hearing, and down the levels. Social and science channels or TV to be used to call your hard decision policy and repression to work from the government side of the service time warrants over career reading limits to expansion no longer terror currency business to integrate the alternatives build class solidarity around a new socialist movement for making concrete demands and products that can transform American society. That's necessary to real movements and challenge sharp dismantle ego's political formations and save life sports and tomorrow. Some people also wish to reform policies or resolving reforms we think probably has bring people to America to receive the fall by single payer health and application. Maybe she's solid solution. Be in the forefront of first you can't see the media that that can have to offer now. So those this time includes an offer from senior workers and central agents of change in our team collecting meds. We characters in order Mutual justice, the word glasses, of course, we grab back anywhere, finding me finding precisely the issues cast at all in ideology with democracy and freedom and universal rights. Market at universal rights and capitalism both explains the rise of Trump and ableism. They're created out of a drive for productivity and a fear of an unproductive and discarded harness. 17 Trump and Ableism started to support rural working class prices. Of course, they couldn't bother the difference with photo uh, to a fear of disability being better by bringing class culture and the and forced by corporations. These neoliberal values dominate Americans and even systems are offered limited opportunities and privatization of government social service. Trump's ableist rhetoric purging many in the way working class people fear from disability domination of agriculture as which neoliberal on social service like many will Americans and will find out through American culture not a competition to see the people's having ground value or working on their liberally cultural role in American means they depend on welfare always seem to benefit someone else or environment from big homes, stable strike, financial system, so low. So we can only imagine living on them, especially poverty street and more fun coming seem to cause independence and pressing rural working class culture Trump policies are liable to make all the more vulnerable, especially since we skip the last part of the case. 
The role of Alice Griffin, the better debater, and Kingos' arbitrary self-serving effects in question of the recipe. You should vote to make it wrong consumption. The occurrence of advocacy, curricular career, small juice does not solve the harm of the isolated for two reasons. A point is citizens. So what is he argues that material institutions like the ADA create the social realities that replicate bonds, but seeding the state refuses to alter these conditions. B point is below over the atmosphere that its advocacy of a certain affect is sufficient to result in liberation, but they are missing a robust control link to solving oppression inside or outside the realm. Word impact turning any attempt to use the ballot to make debate more accessible. One, it leaves zero role for the negative. Our current is to say that debate should not be more accessible or just say nothing at all. Was it a Hobson choice that forces us to be non responsive or offensive? Two, it forces the judge into an inappropriate role. If their argument is voting app makes debate more accessible, voting negative requires the judge determining that debate should not be more accessible and that they don't deserve to move on, which entails a violent rejection of them, their identity, and accessibility. Debate's just a game of tasking the judge with determining whether someone's identity should be accepted. It's incredibly violent and proves that arguments and sort of ideas should be prioritized via the process of debate. Third, it's appealing of sending legal. The final does nothing to make debate better and viewing ballots as currency for social movements is terminally unsustainable. These losses are inevitable, and ableism shouldn't be deployed to prevent solutions to otherwise inevitable. Violence, the opportunity cost there, now there's pragmatic political solutions. Their conception of disability is insufficient. Bad loss in Watson 13 was CDS would die from the Eagles and Hunter and Shot of the Leaks, considering the crack duty with Hain are nevertheless significant and paramount duties to difficult points. We need more concrete movements in the anti Friday. Your Eagles mockers bear little guidance under the anti Eagles, extensive the well being Yogi. The Eagles against our treaty, we protect we maintain the dominance of the Lucian, we care of where we care and goals, moral leadership, even obligation to be judged without people's well being, acting with other well being, and hence why we have corner of friendship. Various possibilities, possibly based on Eagles protected, but that's keeping the normal use of Eagles and Snow tonight. That's on access to well being or something that will be a term seed. And see you no rejection. This is the way it's shirking for intellectual responsibility rights and arguments. This means that benefit disabled people and debating about specific policy options is the only way to meaningfully shift public policy for persons with disability. The act merely points out causes of oppression without focusing on the details of financial policy responses. Samaha said was strong enough justification for the reports of policy by shift society by doing more resources, moving policy in the opposite direction is equally possible. The question is whether it's a month underwrite any policy models for causes of disadvantage. Well, what do you want to do about this matter of norms? There's no necessary connection between cause of harms and remedies. If we prefer actually it should be changed for their enemies, these selected one for anti discrimination, the future of the subsidy or vice versa is a possible uh, justifiable direction for building in life scarce resources, what is the current time frame that displays is incredibly uh nor in irreducibly normal lack of fear being hidden when others can be given displayed more than responsive possible inside than a response appropriate or subsidized acting property or the order of change source themselves on the side of the screen to the absolute recognition of quality factor dominance the question what do we do now uh back on the cafe no permutation check. 18, we can't do both models, but working class leaders prefer to be accepting an enemy's first will to be supposed to accept the class using your personal identity policy and class under 10 pressure from distinct ways and the distinct political strategies in the do both strategy that allies and capital one way into a coalition play of the identity of leadership working class makes it really mean realize this asymmetry is not the best of identity policy. That's a universal means in some sort of synthesis. Advocacy for coalition and then moralize universal and anti capital policies must build a mass movement. Well, I think you sent a different talk than what you were reading from because like, I don't have any of the cards you read on case. It's just recent. I'm looking at the doc I originally sent it, it looks like the cards are in there. About the no firm evidence, why are no why no firms? Uh, the national evidence makes a few arguments. First, 
is that they're sort of mutually exclusive theories of power in the world, uh, kind of focusing on specific identities and basing political strategies upon that results in different conclusions than starting with a sort of class-based universalism. Second, the balance of power in the US and the state post tilted towards identitarianism, which sucks people away from class mobilization and sort of allowing the inclusion of politics based on certain ideas <coughs> into the movement means that over time it sort of shifts the focus more and more onto identity instead of the sort of initial class-based agenda. Okay, why, what is, why is focus on identity bad? Uh, it trades off with focus on sort of class-based universalism, which isn't to say like there aren't sort of different differentiations in evidence or harnish or in violence or harnish evidence indicates specific explanations of how capitalism results in ableist violence and why the alternative would be able to resolve that. But our argument is that uh, the only way to be able to resolve those impacts is by starting from the idea that class is sort of the template upon which other <coughs> violence is created and propagated. Okay. Um, why is our on the on us and Watson and Bernstein evidence, why is our conception of ableism insufficient? It doesn't account for sort of the ways in which capitalism is a better explanation. Okay, why don't we like explain for capitalism? Why doesn't the app? Yeah. I uh, don't think you had any cards that were about capitalism. Okay, okay so, so it's, it's a link to question. It's a link of omission? No, because that's the basis of the Nashic evidence that the sort of mutually exclusive ways of approaching the world and result in different conclusions about what political strategies are valuable. Okay, what political strategies are valuable? Uh, our evidence gives examples of things like single payer healthcare, nationalization of industry, abolition of private prisons. Okay, uh, so it's like the link is essentially that we didn't defend like a policy option. No, I mean that's one of the arguments, but it's more than that. The argument is that sort of your focus means that. Uh, kind of trace off with the necessary boring analysis of structures because oh, it is, wait, is, debate, is debate a structure? Uh, yeah, sure. It, okay, so how is the app not an analysis of the structure of debate and materially? Or even is that the sort of structure that you should be focusing on is sort of violence outside of debate? Okay, well, how can we resolve violence outside of debate? Uh, the examples of the alternative. No, but how can we do the alternative? Like, how can we actually implement the alternative outside of the debate? So you could do things like join DSA, act, wage in protest, activism, lobby Congress. Okay, that sounds like strategies. Why can't we do the app and then also do those things outside of debate? It doesn't seem like there's a reason we have to do those things within this round. Well, you said in CX that it's a question of your method. Your method is something that you're defending outside of the debate, and you explicitly said voting app doesn't result in your method. Our, so method, like our, method, can also, our method is also a tangible implementation of these structures. I think the alternative is as well. Okay, that's cool. Running for up. The evidence that's talking about um, capitalism explains ableism and from. What's the word? <coughs> yeah. uh, it explains how specifically the rhetoric that Trump has used has preyed upon uh, white middle class kind of idea of the able body and feel of fear of being unproductive, which is uh, that a, okay. That's fine. Um, let's talk about.
Um, so what's the warrant for the Sameho seven having a club specific policy in office? Uh, it indicates that kind of engaging in the specifics of the ways in which different policies could have different causal consequences and different influences on different types of people based on their specific disabilities is valuable and uh, it's kind of necessary to reduce material instantiations of agency. Okay, Uh, half, G, half. Is that one good? Uh, one side. Okay, I'm good. The affirmative is a critique of compulsory able body in debate. Our community is structured around the desirability of the able body. The affirmative method of discussion is key to restructure debates of any meaningful access. School debate hides behind a facade of openness that continues to privilege the elite and able body while leaving the desirability of normative the unchallenged. The affirmative challenges list of material analysis and tangibly implements the method from using the text to speech synthesizer as a positive and alternative form of engagement that benefits the disabled while highlighting and challenging able normativity. Extend the role of the ballot to deconstruct ableism. Anything else is arbitrary and self serving and will privilege able body notions of engagement. Ableism regulates expression in the judge's analysis, so our conceptions of fairness and education are intrinsically linked to ableism. Challenging ableism is an ongoing question. On presumption, one of the land evidence is specific to debate from an entity champion says access is a process of struggle that has to be joined. And that ballot is joining that struggle. Two debaters pay attention to who and what is winning rounds. And fairly proven, I was inspired to read this app to successful circuit debaters who have similar arguments. On their, on, their, uh, on their impact terms to the ballot, the A point is that it puts the judge in an inappropriate role. No, it's not. It's not a G. It's not a lot. It's not saying the negative ballot is not saying that access isn't something that's valuable. The negative should propose a different model of a, engagement and a different way of creating access and challenging ableism within the debate space. There's ways to engage that doesn't value, have the judge evaluating personal experiences. On their B point, this is just reasons as to why the ballot failed. You can cross apply all the arguments we make on the presumption argument. Now, with the Venomous and Watson's 13 evidence, all of this is going to be resolved on the capitalism debate. Then, on their Sam Hall 07 evidence, we argue that we meet in the context of the debate space, we are analyzing how disability is constructed within the debate space. Now go to the T-debate. 
The conclusion is DA. The negative is complicit in maintaining debates and pollution agenda. Debate allows disabled bodies like me to join, but it uses them to strengthen labor normative ideals. A community that values speed, clarity, and efficiency doesn't value the disruptiveness of disability. Debate attempts to ensure disability remains notable and thus controllable through limits and stable ground. It's unfair and unpredictable for disabled bodies to bring light to the way this debate impacts them. The TDA and switch side debate are the ultimate versions of inclusionism that lay out the exact way disability can be included without disrupting the underlying organization of the activity. The impact is the destruction of the disabled self. To be included in debate, disabled bodies must disavow their disability status to strive for more. We can never have true accessibility or fairness if we force bodies to destroy themselves to gain access. On presumptively false, fairness is never absolute idea blind, that's unfair, but I can still contest AFFS so we can sure us how to test this one. On SSD, one term persistence is key to breaking down ableism and debate anything else normalizes the slow. Two term that we prove the act is a good idea, we get two times the offense. On TDA, one it doesn't solve the debate specific offense. Two affirming is actively bad for disabled people. <coughs> Energy poverty disproportionately affects disabled people being the discourse of climate change and risk management is used to regulate and marginalize disabled bodies is to the TDA or reasons so it doesn't solve our offense. On small schools, it's not unique. Schools will always have more topic prep and can break new apps all the time. Counter and turf. New Yap has a negotiation of how to universally design debate. One that benefits everyone by making the space easier to navigate by the audio description to help both blind and non-blind students. Two solves your offense because it doesn't preclude your interp. A, you can have topical debates in other rounds. B, it's a question of sequencing the counter and turf creates meaningful engagement that improves subsequent debates. Three, the evidence shows that this model of debate is missing from current debates and can create consciousness and better advocates for access. On the cap debate, when in turn, neoliberal capitalism uses compulsory able bodyness to produce and rehabilitate an endless amount of exploitable bodies. The app breaks down compulsory able bodyness. To late turn, neocap uses inclusionism to signal support and progress for the disabled to sustain itself <coughs> while simultaneously profiting of those it supposedly supports. The app breaks down inclusionism. Three will link. The affirmative literally engages in a material analysis of how disabled bodies materially engage with the structure of debate. We aren't trying to escape debate structures, but rather materially change them. Pearl do both. The app serves as an alternative valuation system that opens up new worlds of possibility. Mitchell and Snyder 10. Alternative valuation systems with regard to disabilities we fashion proactivity within capitalism. When we approach disability with alternative valuation rather than a symptom of exclusion within capitalism, opportunities are up to realizing other worlds and possibilities known productive bodies about refusal of compulsory able. Bodyness is unspoken foundation. And how fails after the app means the problem is key. Policies have set the theoretical understanding of the app fail and we create ableism. The union has cemented the logic of the retrofit fit that treats disability as a <coughs> to minimally accommodated to avoid lawsuits rather than something that can be independently valuable. And the current terms of shields the link. Engaging with capitalism is key to eroded. Multi cellular team. <coughs> Having to interact with the capitalist context is inevitable through interaction movements and eroded rethinking the conventional modes through which production are organized to oppose capitalism as a moral system dictating what is valuable movements. Have a goal of going beyond capitalist morality with alternative forms of social production. On there no perm evidence insofar as we proved that the affirmative model of debate is key to breaking down capitalism, that's a reason. It's a, it serves as a net benefit to the permutation. They say it's a trade-off argument, but we say no, it's not a trade-off. The app is a good focus. <coughs>
Vote negative for a resolution where the app establishes the defense of U.S. eliminating fossil fuel subsidies and the judge has decided if it's good or bad. The impact is research and predictable limited top seed argument and refinement. Look to the best reasons that subsidies are good or bad and treasure ourselves within the confines of being top one at the deepest base of the are important issues like their impact on warming if alternatives are feasible in the relationship between fossil fuels and different forms of repression. That's good. These <coughs> debaters are most challenged by their opponents' force to refine their arguments to the best potential debate at their peak. Their information only means one of these are designed to debate clash. It means endorsing a model of debate where the app is most obscure, being arguers is the only terminal impact to debate. That is, we have the ability to refine what we're saying. We get better over time become more persuasive. This turns all their education off. It's impossible to leave debates with a better understanding of anything when the one is used. Balanced affirmation means that is not prepared to contradict what they've said, which means the absolute we always has a monopoly on what research produces, what we think is the truth, and whether or not it's actually real. It means we never come to a well guided conclusion about how the world operates insofar as they think debate has some value and that clashes the necessary method to produce effective activated advocates. Only a limited stasis point is able to facilitate it. The line line of the impact turn first. We never force them to defend the topic. What they do is their choice. Our argument only comes that he is a necessary win condition, but not a constraint on what they do or say. This was a conceded doubt for us. Either they don't care about winning, you should vote negative, or they want to win, which proves that to be this competitive and fairness is an impact too. They link to any critique of norms. Ask yourself, why else they probably and tell the judge to vote after they'd be okay with the judge voting based on a coin flip. The if throwing away principal topic isn't meaningfully different than throwing away speech times, decision times, and tournament rules. If they truly want to adopt your norms, they wouldn't speak quickly, cite authors, or answer CX questions. I'm following literally every norm except he proves that is motivated by strategy because they arbitrarily break the ones that help them. Third, top tally is not exclusion. Every argument proves that the app is bad. They give the example of primary <coughs> CX as an argument about why the affirmative method is bad. It's no different from something like the cap here or case here, which also proved that the app is bad because it's just it's not sort of excluding them, rather, it's just a disagreement with the affirmative, which is a valuable dialogue process. And if the norms we present are comparatively better, that's sufficient to vote negative. Fourth, if we win the top four version, which I'll do uh, which I'll do later, that this proves this because it proves they don't have to necessarily give up every single facet of their identity, and there is a possibility for the app being so compatible with the depends on the topic. Our overview answers are too blinky answers have switch out to make that one explaining should let them blow up and this is where the top four version of the app will do it here. Our events is fantastic that sort of climate change and defending an affirmative that eliminates fossil fuel subsidies allows the app to make specific arguments about the ways in which warming exposes the failures of accommodations, i.e. the reasons for why warming disproportionately affects disabled folks. Their arguments are just non-responsive. If you can, it does solve their ability to use debate means they can use the examples from debate as examples of why accommodations fail to justify a topical plan, which is the basis of our topical version of the app, or you can make analogies between the two, but still garner offense off the topical plan, which proves it solves their offense. The affirming, or the like energy poverty stuff, this proves that there are negative arguments that can answer the affirmative, which proves reading it 
on the next sentence, which that is comparably better because it means they learn and understand objections to the specific positions, and which results in sort of specific instantiations of ableism, which allows them to be more effective advocate. The counter creation first is too vague. What does this mean? There is no explanation of what it means to negotiate a UDL in the one error between we should let them be put in two error, two in R, and or two error, and means you should presume at least two are limits dis or all people limits dis at here. There are terms allows them to defend anything outside of the bounds of the topic. If they get to four years should research one area in the library, which means to keep up with a linear model. Which guarantees an irreversible credit advantage and guarantees the negative never has anything meaningful to say against the affirmative, which proves that creation has no role for contestation or the negative. Second, they don't solve creation of UDLs. They have no way of actualizing it. These all voting app tells have ones, but it sort of can't, just can't change any of these impacts. There's no explanation that, whereas a voting negative can't rectify the limits they said in this particular debate. Third, their argument was that it's not mutually exclusive, which proves the topical version. These, insofar as the sort of creation of UDLs can, after that happens, we still can have topical debate. Proves that sort of the structure of topical debate can still be valuable. Another argument to, right, another argument to disagree with is in sort of changing that structure is something that can happen outside of this particular round. That is still something good and that is not offense against other people's reputation. If the other rounds don't solve it, to talk a question on models of debate, which was a conceded competing interest just a competing interest justification, and it sort of just doesn't make sense because underneath the world the world of the counter creation of firms would be incentivized for me to not about every single debate that they would get a massive advantage they would get a massive advantage off of it with a uh, massive advantage off of it, which was the basis for the small schools they said, which all do here. It means that Big schools like Greenville and Harvard Westlake are able to just front load a new app every single debate about the newest, most random topic that they can never be prepared for and disproportionately affect small schools. It's obviously a linear impact. Obviously, they're going to have an advantage in the status quo, but allowing the approach not to defend the topic means that that advantage is magnified because there's no longer any sort of critical thesis that they're held to. The sequencing question was answered above because it's not mutually exclusive with our information. The last argument that uh, was our answered above by our presumption arguments and uh, doesn't answer, and it's just not warranted. All these arguments are one sentence arguments that you shouldn't let them go up in the QAR. Even if this model is missing, they, voting app doesn't cause that model to be injected into debate, and it's not mutually exclusive with topicality, which means you should view T as a sort of kick out of their refusal to defend the topic, but still endorsing the other parts of the affirming model. The uh, cafe. Uh, can see the presentation is just a test of competition, not going for it. T comes prior to the procedural question of the case. Vote negative on presumption. There's no one-to-one -one correlation between voting app and solving ableism. All it does is to cause people to write better framework blocks in the future, and they have no sort of empirical explanation. Maybe uh, in, if, if their, their sort of arguments are kind of non-falsifiable, maybe they change their arguments that they wrote because they saw someone winning a particular debate, but then there's no way to export that over like rounds and rounds, and as a sort of model of debate, it doesn't make sense because it puts the judge in the position of deciding based on argument, uh, based on people, not arguments, which is a bad model of debate. It puts the judge in a violent position to decide who's suffering matters more and what form of oppression is more important, important to send it to Finals, which is a comparatively which is a comparatively worse model of debate. Their laying evidence does not say anything about in round, which sort of proves our presumption or even improves that top is still able to be consistent with their, all of their stuff. These proves that sort of changes in the way in which we approach ableism outside of individual debate rounds is necessary and makes no claim about individual rounds, uh, individual rounds changing. Also, if it's true that individual rounds change, that's not offense for them because voting negative means people read top labs, which means if we want topicality and we want that's a better method for exposing things like ableism and sort of forcing research into specific issues that has a sort of role for debate, which we can see is good, that means you should vote negative.
What's the order again? Oh, yeah, sorry. The order is half and beef. Okay. Starting off now. You can extend the role of balance to challenge ableism. They don't do any uh, specific weighing analysis in their last speech as why their uh, T-shell is going to impact back to uh, deconstructing ableism within the debate space, which means that that's how you frame your uh, balance as to the, the first implication is that they don't do any explicit weighing to this, but the second implication is that ableism always skews how you view the bodies in this round, which means that the uh, structural fairness uh, the structural fairness will always attain uh, your view of procedural fairness within the round, which means that uh, if, the, uh, if the negative can't do anything to resolve the structural unfairness in the debate, uh, but the affirmative can, that's the only way that we can have procedural fairness in uh, future rounds, which means that it's a try or die for the affirmative. Now, under the presumption debate, they, uh, say that land, they say the landing evidence doesn't talk about specific rounds, but it's talking about the debate community in general, which definitely impacts individual specific rounds. Then they say that the uh, our responses to the presumption are non-verifiable, but uh, a lot of things in debate are not are non-verifiable, but also it's definitely verifiable. There are definitely people who have all in the wiki have started disclosing in a different formatting because of the way that ballots operate, which means that debaters definitely pay attention to who and what arguments are winning rounds, which means that we are winning a uh, solvency on the affirmative. They don't do enough work on the thesis of the affirmative, which is a critique of the way compulsory ableism implicates, uh, implicates what we find desirable in the debate space. We'll get to why that matters on the T flow. Go to the T flow. They mishandle the inclusionism just out of this is not an impact term to fairness, it's an internal link to the way they try to achieve fairness in the first place. It's an argument as why we need to resolve the structural unfairness in the debate before we can resolve the uh, procedural unfairness that exists within the debate space. They say, they say that it's a question of, the, they're not telling us what we needed to do, but they're aligning out exactly how we should have had the uh, better discussion of the affirmative, the way that they are always mediating, the way that disabled bodies engage in the space always prevents disabled bodies from actually uh, uh, actually uh, attacking the fundamental compulsory able bodies that implicates within the space, de debate space, go back to the overview of the one era that's really going to tell you new, that debate hides behind its openness, this facade of openness in order to uh, prevent, it, prevent a critiques of the compulsory able-bodiedness able-bodiedness that exists within this space. They make a bunch of arguments about how the affirmative should have been topical in order to better solve our offense, but those are always ways in which they are trying to get out of specific conversations about debate and how debate impacts the bodies within the space. All of their impacts are to both that with how, how they make the conversation of the app better, but they have conceded the thesis of the affirmative, which is turning that argument. Then they impact out to fairness, but they have conceded that, that structural fairness always skews your analysis of procedural fairness, which means we've answered all of those arguments. Then they say that we don't rupture any norms. We definitely rupture norms. It's not the norm to have an app played with the text to speech synthesizer. That definitely challenges the way compulsory able bodiedness works in the space. Now on the TVA proper, this might turn into the inclusionism disad because they're saying that we can resolve the debate specific offense over this conversation, but this is a way of obfuscating away from the conversation about how this should impact like in individual debate rounds. Insofar as UDL is something that is good and can happen you should vote affirmative. All the counter interpretation, they're not doing enough work as to why we can't do this app in this round, have conversations about disability, and then have topical debates. It's a question of sequencing. 